Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Schaefer and I'm Megan Reyna. Proceedings in Limestone County Sheriff Mike Blakely's corruption trial quickly progressed today. Way 31's Matt Kroschel is part of our team live at the Limestone County Courthouse right now with what happened inside the building today. Matt. Today's opening statements all about really setting the stage for this jury. Blakely's defense team Bottom line, they say that the state just doesn't have the goods on Sheriff Blakely. They say that they will not be able to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. Meanwhile, the state going to outline some of that evidence they say they have against the sheriff. Ways 31's Nicole Zedek has been in the courtroom for us, uh, watching every minute of this case as it has progressed. And really today, hearing from the defense team for the first time. Yes, and so Blakely is being charged with 11 counts of criminal charges, all of which surround around Alabama's ethics laws. The state is confident they can prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Blakely violated those ethics laws. And today they presented the evidence that they plan to show during the rest of the case to prove his guilt. And several of these charges have to do with Sheriff Blakely's uh, election campaign fund and missing money. Yes, six of the 11 charges have to deal with theft. Four of them saying that he allegedly stole money from his election campaign funds, while the other two have to deal with law enforcement funds. Things like pistol permit funds and the petty cash that inmates have to turn over when they're booked at the Limestone County Jail. The state is saying he used those funds and that cash for his own personal use. I think it's interesting. There'll be actually a lot of employees that work under uh, Sheriff Blakely right now testifying in this case. Uh, Nicole, do we know kind of what to expect next week? We know they'll be back in the courtroom here at 9 a.m. So what are they going to be talking about first? So on Monday, the state will bring their witnesses to the stand, and it is a long list with dozens of witnesses. Like you said, some of them including current Limestone County Sheriff Office employees and even one employee from a casino from one of Blakely's work trips to Las Vegas. A lot of details to unpack here from today's court appearance. We appreciate all the reporting from inside on air and online for us, so keep up the great work there. And just for some perspective, all of this started with allegations back in 2018. Then there was an indictment in 2019. Those charges formally filed. Skip ahead to where we are right now. It took this long because of the pandemic. Things were delayed in 2020, so really a lengthy process here. A lot of people watching this case closely. We are live in Athens. Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News.